Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of similarity as we use it in geometry. Similar figures are figures that are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So these two squares are similar. In fact, all squares are going to be similar. Just like circle, they are similar as well. And these two triangles, based on the tick marks, and we'll explore that a little later, those also are similar. So recall when we had congruency, we had the congruent symbol, which we had the equal sign and the tilde, and we said the tilde was same shape, and the equal sign meant same size. Okay, so when we say two figures are similar, we'll use the tilde instead of the congruent symbol. So kind of that sideways S, if you will. A dilation, to dilate something means to increase the size of the figure. So if you've ever gone to the uh, eye doctor and had your pupils dilated, your pupils open up really wide, let lots of light in, dilate your pupils, well, that's to make the pupil larger, okay? So to make something larger is to dilate it, and to make something smaller is to reduce it. So many of you are watching this video on similar figures. Some of you might be watching on the screen of your smartphone which is pretty small, it's only about that big. Some of you might be watching it on your laptop or personal computer, you've got a larger screen, maybe something nine by 13. Um, some of you might have a smart TV and you've downloaded this on your smart TV and you're watching this on your, your big 50 inch screen TV. Regardless, those are all similar figures. They're all the same shape, you've seen the same thing, but they're different sizes. In similar polygons, we say that the ratio of the measures of the corresponding sides will be equal. So here we have two triangles. One triangle has sides of 4, 5, and 6. And this other triangle has sides of 8, 10, and 12. Well, the ratio of the corresponding sides I label my triangle ABC and A prime, B prime, and C prime. As you can see, the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. 4 is to 8, as 5 is to 10, as 6 as to 12. 6 is to 12. So the ratio of all the sides are equal. The ratio of my sides is 1 to 2. And so that is one of the key aspects of similar polygons is the ratio, the measures of the corresponding sides are equal. The ratio here is one to two. Also in similar polygons, the corresponding angles will be congruent. So again, if I have a triangle X, Y, Z, and now we have X prime, Y prime, Z prime, we would say triangle X, Y, Z is similar to triangle X prime, Y prime, Z prime. So just like we saw in congruent figures, correspondence is important and Corresponding sides and angles match up. Same with similar figures. The corresponding sides and the corresponding angles will match up. And how we say things are similar and the order that we write them is important because it tells you what corresponds to what. What side corresponds to which side and which angle corresponds to which 